Hi, this is a walkthrough on how to make a simple menu program so it's easier to start the missions in an FLL tournament. In this example I will have uh, three missions and I want to assign each mission to a brick button or button on the EV3 brick so I just have to press it and then it'll do the mission. And for that I will have to add a new program and I will call it menu. And in this uh, case I will have to put in a loop and I'll put in a switch. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can better see it. And in the switch uh, I will have I will want to look for the brick buttons uh, and uh, I want to be able to start one mission by pressing the left button and I want to be able to start a mission by pressing the top button and I got three so I'll have to add a case and you can do that by clicking on the plus icon and I wanted to look for the right button. Then uh, you'll have to make the missions into my blocks and uh, you can of course do that by just well, marking the blocks you want and uh, click on the tools my block builder and we'll just call this mission one and you don't have to put any parameters or anything like that into it and the mission two if you can see this if it's a huge program and you can't have it all the easiest part is just if you press control a and mark everything and then you press the control button and click on the first one then you have all the rest selected press the tools button my block builder, call it in this case mission two. Finish and then mission three. It's more easy here. Let's just do it like this. Tools, my block builder, mission three. So back to the menu program. I go into my blocks, and as you can see, we have a mission one, and we have a mission two, and a mission three. So, then I just have to put in a waiting block up here because we want to wait for the brick button to change. This brick buttons. So, this one will wait f for any of the buttons on the EV3 to be pushed and then it will compare to see which button is being pressed. And if the left one is being pressed, it'll do mission 1, mission 2 and mission 3. Bear in mind that it has a default case, that means if you press any of the other buttons it will do mission number one. You can of course add a case where you can make it do something else if you want to. But it might be a bit hard to remember which buttons to press to start the each mission, so you can add a, well, a drawing to the display so you can easily remember it. And uh, the way to do that is that you go into image editor and in the image editor we'll just say that the left button was number one and the top button was mission number two and over here we got mission number three. Well, that wasn't that good. We'll just try to brief it up a bit here. You can of course make it more easy and just to make sure it just kind of looks like something from the brick we'll just make a square here so you can see it. Not that pretty but for this example it'll do. You probably can draw it a lot more pretty than I just did here. Then you, when you have finished with your drawing, you can of course also add text if you want to name the missions like animals and dog or whatever or yeah, put in icons, whatever. Up to you. Let's just use this for this one and I want to save it and I'll just men call it menu. Then uh, you go into the green panel here and you say display and we want it to display an image and up here you click on the white rectangle up here and you can actually see the project images and there's one called menu. And if you add this one then it'll show on the display which one you want to do. So now it's actually ready you can download it and it's ready to go.
and you can start each mission by pressing the different buttons up here. So, that's it. Good luck programming.